Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to bring you some Valentine's Day cards I made with my diamond dice. Yes, I made it before the 14th. Yay, Laura! <laughs> I was uh, running very late and I thought that I wasn't going to make it, but I did. Um, I have been actually working on these on and off for a few days I had a really really bad spell with my with my hands so um, I have put it off for a few days but I'm finally done and I'm so excited because some of them just happened to work out that um, it was just right about the time that we received our new diamond dies and let me share with you some of those dies that I used on my project in my project but before I do that I just want to remind you guys real quick that the diamond dies dies are still on sale and probably will be only for a few more days it is a Valentine's Day special um, so I encourage you if you want to buy some dies to hurry on over and go to your diamonddies.com store also please remember if you use my coupon code thanks Laura you will receive an additional 10% off to what's already on sale. And if you purchase $35 or more, you will automatically get free shipping. And that's both for U.S. and international customers. So guys, yeah, if there was a time to buy dyes, now would be that time. <laughs> you want to catch those sales and the discount coupon. Um, and that's one thing that I, I do love about her store that when she does um, have a sale she doesn't take away the discount coupons like some stores do um, you can have one or the other you can't have both nope she leaves them both so that's super super extra savings for um, for everyone to enjoy so super excited about that also I wanted to remind you that we are still doing our monthly make it with diamond dies over on diamond dies Facebook page and basically you just want to post whatever project you can make whatever you want as long as you use a diamond die that you have purchased on your project and uh, we only ask that your projects be new um, and current we don't want to see the same project from last month post it three months from now or <laughs> you know what I mean as long as your project is new and you use the diamond die and you can just make whatever you want we're also having our monthly card exchange over at the diamond dies Facebook page um, the one for February is done but I understand that D will be doing this on a monthly basis so if you want to join up for the one for March um, stay tuned for those notifications over at the Diamond Dice Facebook page as well as the Diamond Dice YouTube channel where I'm sure she's going to start announcing and posting um, updates for that as well. So guys, I hope you're all having a very blessed weekend. I hope you're going to have some crafty fun. I think that today being Friday... I might just go and take a nap because I am so tired. I didn't sleep at all last night. Yeah, it was a really bad night for sleeping. and um, But I'm in the mood to work on some projects tonight. So I might just take a nap and then start on my projects. So some of the newer dies that Diamond Dice has just released, one of the new sets, was this nesting heart set. And it's one of the ones that I, I wonder, what is this on my mat? Looks like glue. I'm going to have to clean that off. It is just annoying me horribly though. How did that get there? Um, oh, as I was saying, we have just, uh, Diamond Dice has just released a whole bunch of new dice. Beautiful, beautiful new dice. Um, and one of them happened to be the Nesting Heart die set. And I'm cleaning the little mat that it's on. And it doesn't seem to come off either. So, all right, all that for nothing. It's almost like a little glue smudge. So this was one of the newer sets that I did use on my Valentine's Day cards and projects. 
um, and it's this one right here and I also used my um, sugar plum flower set which I don't have right here but I also use my dragonfly from Diamond Dyes and my mini must have butterflies from Diamond Dyes. I also use my word sheet number one from Diamond Dyes. I did use my penance from Diamond Dyes and that's these four right here. And I have to tell you guys, I am so loving these. They look so cute when they're together and layered. And you'll see that on my project. And I also use the scalloped ovals and the ovals. Also from Diamond Dyes. So those were just some of the dyes that I did use. Now the scalloped ovals and the ovals are both brand new. These were just introduced to Diamond Dice and they are on sale, guys. And as well as the nesting hearts. Now, this is an oldie but goodie, but still brand new. Um, I'm sorry, but it's still available. And it is on sale as well. And the pennants is a new set. Uh, the words and the dragonflies and the butterflies are not new, but they are available. However, if you happen to see these over here, these are the dogwood flowers. And although I am not showcasing them, they are part of the new release and they are also on sale. I did not use them on this project, but they are there and they're available. And I also used my besties stamps. I used this one and she is called Raining Hearts. I used this one and she is called Butterflies and Hearts. She reminds me of my daughter so much and this one too. <laughs> this one is Mabel Rose. I love Mabel Rose. Mabel Rose is one of my favorites. I think she is the cutest, cutest cutie patootie. She reminds me of my child. All right. So guys, I also used my lost and found heirloom papers for these cards. And guys, I have to tell you, I'm almost done with this stack. I have maybe eight sheets left and that's it out of 24 sheets. Um, I have maybe six to eight. And if I finish with the box, I'll probably have nothing left. I decided to have a little Valentine's Day card series um, as my DT project. So I will be making three uh, actually four. It was going to be three, but I added another card. I'll show that one later because it's not part of the besties cards. But I decided to make three cards, all six by six, all Valentine's using my besties image. I'm also then going to have a part two to this video and I'm going to make a box and decorate it. And that'll be a DT project for another designer. This one here is for Diamond Dice and this is for the card and like I said I did use the heirloom paper stack from lost and found uh, by my mind's eye and I also used for my bestie stamps I'm looking for my little so um, as you can see I colored her in with my pro markers and I added some glossy accents to her eyes I have stickles all over her dress her headband and on the butterflies um, if you can see here, I have this little frame here. This is one of the My Besties die frames. Um, behind that, I have my diamond die hearts over here and over here. And here, I layered two different sizes together on my magnetic mac, and I created a frame. Um, under there, there's another gray heart. And here, I use my diamond dyed word dies. XOXO and I just glued that down there. I have some of my diamond dye mini must have butterflies and over here I have the sugar plum flowers that I cut out, stickled and glued down here I have my Martha Stewart heart border punch and my um, 
lacy doilies lace doilies sorry for the punch as well also by Martha Stewart here are some more flowers that I created with the sugar plum and the mini realistic rose set from diamond dies as well as the little butterfly over here and that is the outside of my card and I have another XOXO also from diamond dies part of the word dies and the little flower up there so that's oh and over here I have a little metal two little metal charms one is a key with a heart the other one says made with love that's an also another little heart and was a charm I just took the little top part off of it with my wire cutters and then on the inside I just <coughs> Excuse me, guys. My nose is so stuffy and my throat is really dry. Um, I just left it nice and plain. Of course, I did leave a glue string there, too. Um, again, with the Diamond Dyes uh, hearts, the nesting hearts, I just cut them out of red cardstock and I added one of the mini must have butterflies in the center for each one. I have two of the cardstock pieces there and I left this like this so that I can come back and you know stamp out a sentiment later or add one um, and if I do decide to um, gift this to someone I always like there to be a little element of surprise that maybe they didn't get to see in the video that I add at the end here is card number two I started out, again, these are all six by six cards. Started out, started out with a gray cardstock base. Um, then I added some papers to that. I added these little metal heart brads that I had in my stash to each corner. Um, to the little image, I colored her in with my pro markers. And then I also added some glossy accents. On her eyeglasses, I added stickles all over her dress. And on the flowers, I added some pink lace behind. Well, I, I matted her on pink and gray cardstock. Um, and it's about one eighth of an inch increments on each mat. And then I added some lace around that. Again, glossy accents on the little balloon. Here is one of the diamond dyed word dies to say hello. And then over here on each side, I took the diamond dies nesting hearts. I cut out a heart on each side out of gray cardstock. I distressed it. Then I add one of my flowers that I made using my mini, uh, my mini must haves realistic rose set. I also added some resin heart as the flower centers in pink. Then I had this little twine. I tied a, a piece of twine at the bottom of each heart where I have a little heart with little wings hanging. And then over here I have a little heart brad. Teeny tiny ones. And again the XOXO. Both are from Diamond Dies Word Dies set part one. And that's the outside of this card. And then on the inside, I have the diamond dice nesting ovals and scalloped ovals that I layered. Put that out of cardstock, distressed it. And I have the diamond dice nesting hearts with the little mini must have butterflies. I added some bling, some lace, some of the printed cardstock. Again, some bling and lace. And that's that card. And then on this card, pretty much did the same as the other one for the inside. I just have some ribbon, some of the diamond dies, mini must have butterflies that I cut out of red cardstock. And then for the front of the card, and I really love how that little banner came out. Again, six by six card, just, um, cut out some design paper for the base of the card 
to each corner I added some pink rhinestones um, I cut out a little pendant using little scraps from the cardstock as well as the um, design paper stack and I used my glitz teeny tiny letters to spell the word love I also have some flat back pearls in the middle of each pennant um, the pennants I did put them on little foam squares and then I cut out this frame out of uh, using the diamond dice nesting hearts um, I did cut it out of cardstock and then I also cut it out of chipboard and I don't know if you can see the thickness there and I wanted to create a little heart frame and I did that by using two different sizes taping them together and putting them through the um, <coughs> putting them through my big shots at the same time so underneath you will have that newsprint and then on top you have that red which as you can see by the thickness I have layered um, to make as a little frame I colored her also with my pro markers and then I added glossy accents to her eyes and to the little heart also some stickles to her headband I don't know if you guys can see it to the little butterflies I also added some here I added some wedding mesh bling going all around the heart here's some flowers sugar plum flowers mini realistic rose and some flat back pearls I added this little um, scallop lace trim that I had in my stash along with some pearls always is part of the diamond eyes word set here's that Martha Stewart lace doily punch some more flowers from diamond dice with some flat back pearls and some lace and again just having some layers with some lace and I just fussy cut her and glued her I don't have her on pop dots or anything I just glued her straight on to on top of the um, frame when I finish constructing it and then on the inside as I showed you already blank so guys those are my three Valentine's Day cards I think that they came out super cute I hope you like them as well and now I am going to create a box for them I do have the envelopes for them as well um, I was thinking of calling this little collection love notes and putting them in a box and then maybe giving them as a gift to someone um, I would love a stack of already made cards like this as a gift I think they make wonderful presents especially if you give them to someone who is not a card maker or who is um, a card maker who really likes handmade things um, you know depending on which end of that scale they fall upon um, but I really think that cards are just a nice nice gift to give to someone and that's what I plan to do with mine so I hope this maybe gave you some ideas of what to do with these little heart dies or other ideas with other of the diamond dies that you've seen me use um, don't forget to use my coupon code thanks Laura if you do so choose to go on over and make some purchases purchases to um, give you a little added savings I hope you all have a very blessed weekend and I will talk to you all very soon bye for now